We got our last beautiful sunny day here and I just got back from the post office for picking up a piece, a cool new tech, the Insta360 X4. Pretty stoked about this 8K 360 video. take you along for our adventures today with it. Let's go. Hey, yo. Let's go check out what uh, Caleb's doing over here. I think we got some gas station uh, mods going on. Yeah, I guess I'll just wait and see. Businessman on the phone here. Boys are locked and loaded. Time to roll out. eight k three sixty video you're gonna hear me say that quite a few times today just because I'm so stoked to have eight k it just really boosts the quality of our video but that's not all that's great about the x four here there's seventy two megapixel photos there's better slow mo better battery and more and we're gonna cover it all always love unloading in the mud here so today out with us we got Luke Caleb, the man with the hair. Good morning. Afternoon. We got Chase and we got Dylan. One of the things I love about the Insta360 is we can just kind of set the camera up, say on the selfie stick. We don't have to have a tripod because this can face any which way. The camera's still gonna get the shot. We can move the, the view around to get the shot after the fact. So it's like having a cameraman filming there, but we have no cameraman. Hello. Me, you, he do. You know, we could take the selfie stick, jam it in the snow like we did yesterday for this wicked cool shot of Landon. Landon absolutely buttered that backflip there. And we captured him in 8K, 30 frames a second. And then the next guy, well, he actually attempted this flip before Landon, but the next guy, Braden, he attempted a flip. It, it didn't go quite as well, but we changed up the camera settings to 5.7K, 60 frames a second, so we could slow that down and get some slow-mo footage now. The old X3 only did 4K, 60 frames a second, so we get a nice jump in quality there. 4K in the X4 can now do 100 frames a second. I love how the X4 really shows the steepness off the side of the road here because it is like straight down into that valley. Then we come up to a couple Avi paths here. You know you're in steep terrain when you have a couple Avi shoots straight across your road. Caleb will be excited, he gets to shovel. you be excited. One of the other things I noticed about the X4 is the sound quality is a lot better. Uh, it picks up voices better, sled sounds sound better, it doesn't blow out as easy. And then if we wanted to, we could put on some wind muffs, which I don't really find we need that. But another option we have here is the mic adapter. So if we wanted to run our vlog mic, we can run it off the X4. <laughs> When I was editing this clip right here, 
At first I thought I took it with my cell phone, but realized it was taken with the X4. That's one of the big benefits of having that 8K now. You're able to punch in, zoom in that much farther and not lose quality or as much quality anyway. Uh, we'll keep a bit of space still because it's kind of an avi path down yeah. from the top up there. So we're just gonna go kind of in here and then up to the left. All right, I'll rip up there and then I'll uh, I'll okay. radio you. So the setup we're using for the Insta360 X4 right now, just the helmet mount under my visor. Nice, easy, simple setup. Man, I freaking love the train in here. I imagine it looks pretty wicked on the Insta360. The next setup we're running here is the extended selfie stick with the motorcycle bumper mount here this is one of my favorite setups just this bumper mount works really well and this stick is pretty robust <laughs> I freaking love breaking into this zone. It's just so pretty. You always want to walk out to the edge, but you never know what's on the edge. Tell us camera, what is on the edge? There's a big ivy down there. So we found this cool little windlip down here. Me and Caleb are both gonna tandem, jump it at the same time. I'm gonna film him with the 360 camera on the bumper, kind of film myself too, I guess. It's cool that, you know, could get both of those shots in, in one shot. Definitely some pretty sick shots. I think if we're like really side by side, like 10 feet apart, it would look really sick. But the danger level really gets elevated when we're doing that because it's not like we're hitting an actual jump, we're just winging it off a wind lip. Now we're just gonna session the jump for a bit. Caleb's gonna film me with his iPhone. I'm gonna film him with the X4 here and the selfie stick, the extended one. It'll just allow me to get in a little bit closer while he's jumping and get uh, more of a unique looking shot. I'll let you guys be the judge of what you think looks better, but I think the X4 just has a more unique perspective for such a basic jump like this. Definitely the closer to the camera they are, the cooler it's gonna look. Caleb's definitely not satisfied with that. Didn't get the pop he wanted to, but Still look pretty damn cool. I want to see the, the shot off the camera. I haven't seen it yet. I think it'll look sick too. I always like using the selfie sticks with the 360 camera, whether that be the extended one or the normal one. 
just because it allows the camera to get farther out from you and the stick disappears. So whether this be mounted up to your bumper or getting some selfie action. This is a good shot here to show you guys how to edit the 360 footage. It is super simple. You do everything on your phone. All you do is you connect the camera up to your phone. You got the 360 app here. You open it up, you got all your footage here. You go in, kind of, we'll scroll through the timeline a bit, see where we want to be. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. And all we have to do is see that green kind of square there. We'll just press that press record and it's just going to track us and keep us in the center of the frame for this entire shot. After you're done recording the clip, all you do is click export, export to phone album, and then it's going to be there. It's super simple. Okay, I found this cool spine, kind of sketchy spine. <laughs> and he's not exactly sure what he's doing. That one was hard. <laughs> As you can tell by the light, it's starting to get late in the day, but I only brought up one battery with me to film the entire day. And that was pretty much enough to get me by. I did plug the camera into my portable power pack for a bit, but the X4 has a, almost a 2300 milliamp hour battery, which is really great. Uh, I have no complaints about battery life whatsoever. The X4 has almost a 2300 milliamp hour battery compared to competitors at like around 1600. You maybe see me do this before in videos where I ride down from the peak to the bottom with the camera rolling and it just looks cool as you descend into the valley. But the Insta360 makes that a lot easier with its flow state stabilization and horizon lock. And that is pretty much it for the review, guys. Once again, I'm super stoked on this camera. And I gotta say it one more time, 8K. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're interested in it, I definitely recommend it. The editing process is super easy. The filming's easy and uh, can't really go wrong. If you're interested, the link will be in the description of this video and you can find it there. But before you turn off the video, I got some extra content for you guys. This day when I filmed most of the content for the video, I 
flew my sled off the friggin' side of the trail down into the rhubarb, uh, hit a rock and got spit. Here's, here's some clips from that. Well, I may as well vlog this. Uh, cruising down the trail here. My ski dug into the snow hard here. And uh, you see that big rock there? Uh, yeah, we, we hit that. And now our sled is uh, w down there somewhere. I see skis. Yeah, I see my skis. So that's fun. Oh, man. Yeah. That sucks, dude. <laughs> Not even doing anything cool. It was, you bail? I got spit you off. Yeah. Up, yeah. <laughs> I got heated off. The Woo! Yeah. At least it wasn't right up there and we're right down the creek. <laughs> Way to be positive, Dawson. <laughs> Get naked for this one. All of us. May as well. It's a party now. I honestly think it's fine ish. I think it plowed into the stump and then cartwheeled that way. Oh, my Hershey's bar. I see it laying on the ground. Dude, how do we get this out of here? Good question. You know, if we get it right, yeah, upright, you can probably you know, just wrap up. Uh, handlebars look straight. Honestly, I think it's uh, a little bit of side panel damage. I just gotta pop this bag in. Uh. Oh, we 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 got some airbox damage, definitely. Yeah, it really doesn't <laughs> seem as bad as Look, look how tough the Milwaukee pack that is there. <laughs> <laughs> hey Matt. Yeah. You can't park there. Fuck no. <laughs> so Perfect. Like riding with the free rider. No damage or uh, yeah. minor. Not too bad. Right? Airbox. That's about it, honestly. I don't see no air. I'm just, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> uh, that's not pretty good though. Yeah, that's 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 the hard part. That's uh, not super kosher. No. Like, I'm trying to be strong, but not that strong. Might have to leave it till tomorrow and bring up a winch. Yeah, I can't believe it stopped here, honestly. Hey, like, look, look at it. Clayton has that side by side. Yeah. Our only option is straight up. Where does this drainage go? We could ride it. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan here is we got a couple sides anchored to each other. We got a rope up around the A arm. Kind of uses a bit of a pulley and just an anchor to hold the sled as we try and drive it up this. It is extremely steep, as you'll see Caleb slide down here. <laughs> yeah, so, interesting way to end the day. This was my last running snowmobile too. We're down to zero. No good. <laughs> well, for flying off the trail, the sled looks pretty damn good. She's a little rough around the edges. Other than that, it's pretty good. I don't have any actual footage of us pulling the sled out from down there because we needed all the manpower we could get. But basically we got the sled pointed up the hill. Then we we're trying to drive it up, but the sled just kept dying. I was, wasn't sure maybe some plastic got in the turbo, but, but luckily it was just out of gas. So Caleb went back to the truck, got some fuel, came back up, filled it up. And from there, it was honestly pretty easy to drive out with five guys, five or six guys pulling on the sled. Thanks to the guys for the help, I couldn't have done it without them. And that's it for the video. Once again, Insta360 X4, check it out.